How does diabetes damage cells? I'm going to give you a simple and scientific brief today. I am Dr. Ergen. I'm an endocrinologist practicing in Florida, a diabetes specialist, and today I will inform you. So listen up. Ever wonder why too much sugar in your bloodstream is like inviting a bull into the china shop? Uh, spoiler alert, it is not because they will stop and have a civil cup of tea. I'm here to wreak havoc in your cells, ha 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 ha. But, in all seriousness, excessive sugar consumption can have detrimental effects on our health. And I'll tell you why. Let's take a closer look. Here's a scientific breakdown for you. But we're going to make it also simple with a hint of levity. While our animated sugar cubes may not be the true source of chaos, the havoc starts with the sugars can cause at a cellular level. It's all too real. When one indulges in excessive sugary treats or just because you have diabetes, you don't have to indulge in treats you may have high blood sugar anyway, your body's metabolic pathways can be overwhelmed, leading to high levels of glucose in the bloodstream. We call that hyperglycemia if you want to sound fancy, right? Over time, this may result in a state of glucotoxicity. I think that's pretty clear. Where critical cellular functions are impaired. Now, to elucidate, the metabolic culprit primarily responsible for this disruption something called polyol pathway it's a pathway that glucose chooses instead of a regular pathway you know that your body uses to burn glucose and uses an energy now this detour in glucose metabolism becomes hyperactive when normal pathways are saturated because your body is not able to absorb that glucose and your glucose is just wandering in your bloodstream and it has to go somewhere the excess glucose is then converted also into what we call sorbitol which subsequently can accumulate and exert osmotic stress on cells. The easiest way to find out, you know, when your blood sugars go up and down, you start sometimes feeling blurry in your eyes and you think, like, what's going on? Well, that's because of sorbitol accumulating in your lens that is quickly visible. Now, add to this insult, there's advanced glycation end products or ages. Uh, these are proteins or lipids that become glycated, which means that glucose sticks on them as a result of exposure to the sugars, these proteins and fat, then you have got the makings of a perfect storm. Now, these ages can affect nearly every type of cell and molecule in the body and are thought to be one key factor in aging, even if without diabetes. And some chronic diseases happens with them as well. In essence, just like our animated antagonist suggests, sugar in high volumes is indeed a tiny tyrant terrorizing the tranquility of our cellular metropolis. And while the occasional indulgence or occasional blood sugar spikes is unlikely to cause lasting damage, but when you have diabetes, that consistent overly high blood sugar can have grave consequences. Now, what can we do to reduce or prevent damage. Of course, you're gonna be eating healthier, exercising, using supplements, etc. but delving into the realm of cellular protection when it comes to supplements, benfetiamine, which is a derivative of thiamine, which is B1, emerges as a powerful ally against glucose-induced damage. Now, scientific investigations suggest that the benfetiamine operates via the activation of transcatalase, which is an enzyme that diverts excess glucose from the damaging polyol pathway. So instead of glucose going there, it helps your glucose to come back to track, right? Now, consequently, this redirection lessens intracellular accumulation of sorbitol and reduces the formation of advanced glycation end products. So again, Benfetiamine may not lower your blood sugar like you want to see, but it will reduce the damage that happens as a result of high blood sugar that happens anyway, right? For instance, a study published in the Journal of Diabetes Metabolism Research and Reviews demonstrated that the benfetiamine attenuates, diminishes the cellular effects of hyperglycemia, which is high blood sugar, offering a protective shield against diabetic complications. Now, 
simultaneously alpha lipoic acid and naturally occurring compound in a lot of healthy foods that most people don't consume either they don't like it or they're too expensive whatever or they don't consume enough of them but alpha lipoic acid in those foods provides a double-edged sword in the fight against the cellular turmoil caused by excess sugar now that's why we have our ALA and ALA on our website for people who want to take it as a supplement but the ALA exerts its influence by mitigating oxidative stress and improving insulin sensitivity as corroborated by the significant body of research, including an article from the Archives of Biochemistry and Biophysics. Now, these properties of ALA, alpha lipoic acid, not only enhance the glucose uptake, but also inhibit the formation of ages, which is further safeguarding the delicate cellular structures from the deleterious impact of high blood sugar levels. Now, when you're incorporating both benfetiamine and alpha lipoic acid into the regimen, it holds the promise of enhancing cellular defenses against the onslaught of glucose-induced havoc. It is worth mentioning that while these agents are potent, they help, they operate most effectively as a part of a comprehensive approach and balanced blood sugar levels. You know, which includes a sensible diet and regular physical activity. Don't forget that. Now, SugarMD's neuropathy support has both benfetiamine and alpha lipoic acid, which has been very popular, which is a key in fighting neuropathy because neuropathy is one of the complications of diabetes, right? But something interesting is happening as people are adding SugarMD's benfetiamine and alpha lipoic acid or RALA to the standard neuropathy support and they get more benefit. This proactive approach is getting the attention thanks to patients sharing how much their neuropathic symptoms improved. But again, this combo will not only improve neuropathy symptoms, you don't have to have neuropathy, it will be a protection to protect from neuropathy, from kidney disease, from eye disease, and so forth. So don't wait until the last minute. These agents will work together, boosting their effectiveness against high blood sugar related cell disruptions. Even though there's data still coming in, but we are collecting data as well. The success stories from patients are compelling. It's calling for more research, of course, to validate these findings. Like I said, these anecdotal evidence from patients is very promising. Let me tell you something, though, about supplements. The statements about supplements, the benefit is either overstated or dismissed entirely. There are some people for supplements, there are some people against supplements. But the truth lies in this scientific research, which while varied but mostly indicates that specific supplements when used correctly can provide significant health benefits for instance in the context of neuropathy and high blood sugar neuropathy supplements the benfetiamine alpha lipoic acid have been studied again and again for their potential protective benefits especially when you use it early a lot of people use these supplements after they have a ridiculous amount of neuropathy after they have the severe pain and even opioids will not help them and then they expect a supplement to help them well supplements are supplements you know your expectation from them should be limited because they're natural their effect are supposed to help you in the long term not like an overnight painkiller that you expect sometimes but benfetiamine and alpha lipoic acid they differ fundamentally from pharmaceuticals the way they work so we don't really have pharmaceuticals that work like benfetiamine and alpha lipoic acid all the pharmaceuticals for neuropathy are basically designed to kill the pain instead of reversing the damage or putting the biological process back to normal and benfetiamine has been actually prescribed in europe uh, but in the u.s fda does not consider benfetiamine alpha lipoic acid as a medicine just because they did not go through this hundreds of millions of dollars of studies to make them a medicine and if benfetiamine was a medicine you'll probably be paying close to 500 dollars if not more so i'm glad that it's not a medication and it's still a supplement thanks for watching I will see you in the next video. Remember to subscribe and share this video. Talk to you soon. Hey guys, I hope you are enjoying this channel so far and I hope you subscribed already. Uh, it, if you didn't, do it. And if you did, watch this video right there. I think that will help you too.